Hey there guys, John here of course, and as you can tell, I'm not alone today. I'm actually out here on the water with a buddy Dave. Uh, we're actually calling him Captain Dave because this is his boat we're on, and he is guiding us on a salmon fishing trip today. So, I don't know how much of a guide it's going to be, I'm just glad to have you with us. Yeah. Well, from uh, everything Dave's told me, uh, he's not so bad at catching these things, so uh, he's been a little humble. But I have no doubt that uh, we're going to have a good day and catch a few fish. And along the way, uh, we'll show you guys a little bit of what we're doing, uh, how we're catching these uh, salmon here, and uh, have a little bit of fun, hopefully. So uh, we'll let Dave do his job here. <laughs> Get some kokanee in the boat. And then take them home and cook them. They're right on. Fish on. Got a double whammy going on here. Definitely a lot of silver back there. I have to give all credit to the captain of the ship here. Hey. <laughs> Alright Dave, so what are we uh, doing out here on the water exactly? How do we catch these salmon? Well, um, we're trolling obviously and what we need to do is make sure we have something that gets our lures down in the zone that the fish are hanging at. So we use the downriggers, um, you probably got a shot of those earlier, and we're putting our lines in the downrigger and then taking it down to a depth where the fish are. And uh, so we're trolling a couple different styles of lures, and we we're tipping it with some white shoe peg corn. Um, I think that that's kind of important. And then I also add some secret sauce to it myself. Um, I think most fishermen that fish for kokanee do you know, doctor it up a little bit, but you could obviously get away with just straight shoot peg corn. And then on the, the rods out the back, we're just running a, a little bit of weight and long lining those with a, a wedding ring type lure and a half a night crawler. So when uh, fishing gets good, um, you can typically see fish on the screen as a school of fish. And we try to, once we find a school of fish and we have success with hooking them, we try to stay in that general area and not leave uh, what's working. So we're waiting for that next big bite. So I'm using braided line down here to a good swivel to a, uh, a sling blade. This is basically a dodger that gives you some action in the water. I put a little kink in it here and it gives it a little bit more of a boat tail whipping effect. And then kokanee have really soft mouths so I use a bungee here to take some of that absorption and some of that shock away once you hook them. And then I, uh, I go to a uh, eight or, or 10 pound liter. Um, I'm using a, an Apex this morning. Uh, this is called a trout killer, but kokanee and trout killers, I think it's a marketing ploy uh, from the lure manufacturers. Uh, this works really well for me as well. So this one's has a single hook. Oftentimes I'll use a, a double hook with like a stinger hook on it. I'll show you one of those in a minute. But I also use, I tip it with corn, and I uh, brought a couple of varieties of corn. I use a, a white shoe peg corn that I add some, uh, some goodies to, kind of a secret formula. But this one I add a little bit of a dye to, and gives it a little bit of a pink or a red color. That seems to work really well. And I just put one kernel of corn on, and I put it on with the cut side first, come out the round side, and that's all I need. And I also like to just stick it in the, in the juice there and get it kind of scented up a little bit on the lure. Kokanee make their living, salmon as a rule make their living with their smell, so I think anything we do to give us a little bit of a benefit or a, an edge there scent wise sure helps so that's kind of what I do there then what I do is I'll uh I'll go ahead and let this out behind the boat I'll guess this. make sure that it's working well in the water I'll kind of give you a picture of what it looks like in the water A, I take a rubber band, just a regular rubber band, and I wrap it around the line, and then I bring it through itself and snug it up, just like that. 
then I take that rubber band and spread it apart, put it in my downrigger release. So that's like another snubber. When that fish picks up the bait and he goes to turn with it, that rubber band gives a little bit of, of a give in addition to the snubber that's in line. And then when he pulls hard enough, it will break that rubber band, or you'll see the tip of your rod jiggle, and you'll pick the rod up and pop that rubber band yourself. So then you're fighting fish. No more release, no more heavy weights, nothing. Just fish right on the line. Pulling right off. Yep, that's the way I like it. Nice. So then we'll let this thing down. Letting the downrigger down. We're going to go down to about 20 feet on this one. So the ball is down 20 feet. Put the line in. Pick up any ten, uh, slack you got there, you want real good tension so when that fish hits it's telegraphed. You know when you have a fish on. So we got one in the water. We'll work on the next one. Fish on. Got a little bit of a bow in the rod there. How big do these typically run out here? Well, this could be a trout or it could be a kokanee. Yeah, um, so. You know, this year they've been uh, you know, about 13 to 18 inches. Yeah. Looks like we've got yeah. something if you'll just lift your rod yeah, there. You got a little, little, little trout. Little baby trout. Oops, fish on. Get that one right oh. there, John, on the downrigger. Got a double whammy going on here. Oh, yeah, this was not much nicer one here. Yeah, get her jump back there. Nice. That's, that's a coconut. That's coconut yeah. for you. Just raise your rod tip straight up. Looks like a nice fat rainbow. Wow. That is a rainbow. Wow. It's fatty too. Yep. Good job. That is Very good job. I have to give all credit to the captain of the ship here. Hey. <laughs> We got this fluffing all over the deck. We got a little one and a bigger one. Yeah. That's a very nice little trout. Yeah, right that, there. that's not a bad uh, way to start the day right there. Yeah, sun shining off of it. Yeah, beautiful, nice, nice. That little I'd trout. I'd rather be there. here than in the best hospital in town. <laughs> Any day. Yeah. Looks like we're getting another bite over here. Fish right. on, reel it in, John. You want, nope, get you it. You want to grab one? Get it. This one's yeah, yours. Fluffing all over the deck here. Mother. Wow, this one's much heftier. Definitely a lot of silver back there. Raise that rod tip straight up. Whoops! Ah, popped her off. That's called a long line release. He's gone. Oh man, that's been. He gone. He gone. He gone. <laughs> he still there? Yeah, All right. First uh, kokanee in the boat of the day. Uh, missed one. Catch and release on that one. This one's gonna be supper. All right, another fish on. This one definitely kokanee. Another fish on. Another fish on. So now this one needs another cook. Yeah. yeah, it is. Back up. Good deal. So uh, thanks for the trip. Thanks for coming really out. Appreciate it. We'll and, do it again. Uh, yeah, real soon. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's it, guys. So until next time, you guys take the best care, and we'll be seeing you soon.